Consular processing is the last step and you have the least control over this part of the process. The way that you gain some modicum of control is knowing who you're bringing in. If you're bringing in one or two workers that you've handpicked, hopefully you've vetted them so that their immigration past or their criminal background, if they have any, doesn't come back to bite them and you know throw them out of contention for that visa. Um, hopefully, if you have lots of workers, you've hired somebody that's gonna help put them through processing. If you're not an expert in it yourself, there are group processing options for large groups. And hopefully you've organized the travel for these workers, how they're gonna to get to your site in a way that's gonna minimally impact you financially because you have to pay the travel costs for the worker from their home country or their current employer to your place of business. You're gonna spend about three or four weeks organizing all of this. You're not gonna be able to buy plane tickets that far ahead of time because you don't know when they're gonna get approved. You might have some idea, but not an exact idea. So what do you need to keep in mind? You need to keep in mind that vetting people, vetting workers, takes some energy. You're going to want to invest some money into that, pay somebody that does that, or really take uh, time to do it yourself in a professional way. You're going to need to save money for the travel because travel needs to be paid for up front or reimbursed at the latest, probably within two weeks of them arriving. Workers can never make less than the state minimum wage, different than the prevailing wage in a month. And if you don't reimburse them on time, that means they're going to go below the state wage. You're going to be in non-compliance. You're also just supposed to pay them back for that travel. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your workers have somewhere to live or have picked out a place that they can rent themselves or have housing for them. So consular processing is really about prepping your work site and prepping your budget to welcome the workers on board. If you look at this channel, hopefully we're gonna have interviews with uh, recruiters. We're doing a whole recruiting segment at one point this summer where we're gonna talk about that aspect of things. It's probably the least understood aspect of this whole process. You know, because most, before you're doing with paper, paperwork, now you're dealing with people and hosting them and, uh, you know, making sure they come over. There's a lot of challenges. You know, I've had clients this year who have had workers like, you know, take the visa number and then not show up to work, uh, lose all contact with them. Um, that happened for, because the clients were working with these workers themselves. The clients that are happiest tend to work with professional companies. I, for example, work with professional recruiters when I'm recruiting workers outside the Philippines. If we're looking for Filipino workers um, here or elsewhere, then I do have another company called Frontier Labor that does that. If you need consular services, if you need more information, you can set up an appointment with me at frontiertech.com consultation. Check out the guide that's going on the carousel below these videos or is in the description of the video. There should be a link. Uh, for more information, I do have FAQs there with some common questions and answers and some scenarios that might be interesting to you. At any rate, I hope that this multi-part series has been helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, you can also leave them in the comments, but you know, just go ahead and reach out to the firm. So thanks so much, T, this, and uh, you know what? I'll see you later, maybe next year, or maybe you'll come back to the channel for some regular viewings of me talking about stuff, which could be interesting. It might not be, but it could be. I'm gonna stand here awkwardly because this elevator goes a whole four floors. That's called a skyscraper here in New Haven, Connecticut, where I'm at. I'm gonna face front so you can't get a direct look at my bald spot, and I'm gonna press one. See you later. Have a good one. I wrote a dare cheat. Bye.